Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fahler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 1st and the 8th of June 2019. This is where I talk about celestial transits, the celestial weather so to speak, that affects all of us, all zodiac signs. I'm filming from Greece, I came here to work a little and see clients and there's a beautiful artwork here that I made a close-up for. Um, so you could see it and let's talk about what's happening in the sky generally speaking as we are progressing into the middle of June we are warming up things are warming up long-term processes that actually have been mentioning for a couple of years now are heightening it's as if the world is drawn into two different camps and we can find these camp members, those group members in any religion and continent and country and city and family most of the times. And one group is a group that understands that we were born but naked babies on a round world. And that we should live and let live and that nobody has a dominion over the truth. And the other group is sure that their truth is the only truth and that everybody else should live according to their truth. And there's a struggle between these two ideologies all over the world. But that's a long-term process that is heightening by its side as something very beautiful that is manifesting. Things are coming into the light. Things that were secrets. Things that we could have been arguing about for many years do they exist is it really like this does that affect that are now coming into the light and even the most ignorant and biased men cannot argue with their relevance anymore with their existence anymore it's interesting to see the the recent uh, articles coming out about UFOs, about uh, continued research about UFOs conducted by the American government. So definitely that kind of energy. We can see um, more scientific um, uh, researches coming out and, and, and explaining how we impact the environment and how um, maybe corrupt governments have been meddling with different economies. All of these secrets are coming out. There are epiphanies in our personal lives. It's as if we know who we are much better. We get a better sense of who we are and where we need to go, of what our role is in our immediate environment with our aunts and cousins and co-workers, people who study with us or are in our vicinity, our neighborhood, our extended family. Who are we within that network? What are the messages, ideas and words that we spread? What kind of conductors and networkers are we as links in that immense unending chain that is called life? There could be many understandings about all of these subjects right now as we are heading into a new moon in Gemini that is pretty much in proximity to Mercury and opposing Jupiter. So, so much of that can happen in our personal lives and in the public realm. It is a time to understand that long before the Odyssey by Homer was written, that long before we waited for a Messiah, the hero's journey spoke to all of us across time and across cultures. Why? Why? Because we are those heroes. We are the ones going through that journey. And we are the heroes that we have all been waiting for. Do not mistake, and you are living in the most important time ever known to man. Probably one of the most important times to ever will be known to man. 
It is no mistake that you are listening to this now and seeing me. It is no mistake that you are breathing. In fact, you have always known that you are the hero you have been waiting for. That's why all these movies and stories touched your heart. Because it spoke the truth about something that was already in there. Never has there been a more important time to be alive. Never have our decisions as individuals been more critical to the outcome of the world and existence of all mankind. How much animal products do we use? How much garbage do we put out? How much energy do we utilize? What is our ecological footprint? And again, how do we make this a more advanced, more correct world for all of us? Never has humanity faced such odds before and such opportunities before. It is no mistake that you are here. And until the drops understand in their individual need to sweeten, will the ocean remain salty. Never has there been any other way to change the world truly than changing ourselves, our actions, our ideas. And now is the most important time. You know, we're heading into the most important years, the critical years. So stop longing for someone else to come and save us politically, martially, philosophically, spiritually, and start being that person. We need you. We need you. And do not forget, you have always been in the star role of your life. You've always been the main figure. Let me ask you, how's the script going to look like for you from now on? As I always say, the days before and after a new moon are also important energetically. Because the energy that flows within us before and after as well as within <coughs> excuse me, is imprinted in the next lunar cycle. So it follows up. It follows us for the next weeks. So already from Sunday, be very vigilant regarding how you feel inside and your vibration. Monday we have the new moon. <clears throat> it's going to be at 12 degrees Gemini. And then, generally speaking, things start becoming more emotional and maybe a little bit more frustrating to, from Tuesday onwards towards the end of the week. We have Mercury moving in to the sign of Cancer for the next couple of weeks. And Mercury in Cancer is more melodramatic. Our thoughts are more... Um, emotionally driven and we could be more emotional with our actions and decisions and on Wednesday we have the moon conjunct Mars watch out for aggression watch out for uh, being too impulsive or just too reactive it's a great day to be in the gym it's a great day to push things forward whether physically or just utilize that energy harness it to take things forward to actually climb a rock that you haven't been able to top before but and, and it's a great day to be in the bedroom as well but it's not a good day to be arguing and it's not a good day to be impulsive or reactive or aggressive and watch out for those energies and Thursday um, you know the recuperation and 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 uh, understanding of yesterday can come. We could be too judgmental, we could be too dark, we could be too hurt, we could be too dramatic. So, as the moon opposes Pluto and Saturn. So just watch out for that as well. And don't let ego-based uh, fric uh, uh, frictions run your day. Because there could be a lot of ego there. And, but that kind of frustration moves away and gives way to 
still a very energetic energy, very fast flowing energy, but as I said, it is flowing. It is not uh, frustrating anymore, it is not challenging anymore, it's much more uh, harmonious. That happens on Friday from uh, the night time onwards. And Saturday, Saturday is just a great day to enjoy yourself, to have fun, to go out, to take part in any spiritual or uh, outside um, kind of activity. And that's about everything I had to say. There's new groups opening up in September, so if you want to join, this is the time to contact me. I hope you're going to have a beautiful week, and I hope you're going to understand that we all need you. I know that sometimes it's hard to believe, but let me let you on a little secret. We can't do it without you. It's not going to happen without you. We need you. We need you more than ever. So, I hope you'll be strong and be our hero, as we all should be. I hope you live long and prosper. Bye-bye.